Coach, good win against Wright State yesterday. Just recap uh, the game against the Raiders. Well, I thought we we came out with a little bit of a uh, finals hangover there to start the game, but you know, as the, as the game went on, I thought we did a better job of um, obviously defending them. Um, we were able to get some people uh, from our perspective that stepped up. I thought Logan McLean uh, really came in and gave us some positive minutes, um, along with Dion Wade and. Uh, I thought Willie um, Willie played well. So, and in fact, you know, Giovanni was in trouble, foul trouble, I should say. But it comes out in the second half, and I thought he did a terrific job of keeping himself uh, mentally in the game, and then had a a really nice second half. And Eric was, you know, pretty consistent along with um, LJ. So. Um, we had some various guys step up. Um, Billy changed his lineup a little bit. I think part of that was due to foul trouble. Uh, they went with uh, a lot of guards out on the court, so we had to make the adjustment, and we were able to um, do that. You talk about that second half, you go in tied at halftime and then stretch it to nine in that second half. What was the difference for you in the second 20 minutes? Well, I think a couple things. Um, I think, you know, when you look at Yoho and what he was able to do in the first half, he was three of three from th um, three of three from three. Um, so, you know, that was one of the keys, obviously, going in in the halftime was trying to really, you know, be alert and, and find him. He shot the ball so well this year. Uh, and then, of course, Benzinger hit some shots. And so I, I thought we were able to force them to take maybe some tougher shots. They still got some looks that I wasn't pleased with from our group. Um, but we were able maybe to make Yoho put it down a little bit more. So at least it was twos he was going for and not so much um, as threes. Uh, I thought for the most part we rebounded the ball. Um, we out-rebound them, which is something that we've struggled um, doing. And then, too, I think when you take a look at Eric, um, Eric had two turnovers. They were both in the second half, but to have eight assists, um, I thought he probably did it. I thought he really did a good job of not turning it over and making sure that we got shots. And um, they went to zone in the second half, and we were able to penetrate the zone some and get some good looks. That is a lot of uh, production, but you know it's funny. I think you know when you look at this team, um, we're certainly capable of doing that off the bench on on a given night. Um, we've got some guys that could actually step up and be in the starting lineup, and so um, if we can be consistent in that area, I think that will really help us. I thought the other key too is that we got to the foul line. And uh, I think we took 26, and we made what 23, maybe. Um, you know, 20. Okay, we took 28 and made 23, I believe, something like that. But I mean, to be able to get there is crucial. You know, we've had some games where we've only taken 14 or 15, and and we were able to get to the foul line early in the first half and in the second. And I thought we did a good job of trying to exploit that and take advantage of it. difference in, in that area for the Red Hawks? Well, to be honest, until you just mentioned that, I didn't realize that, that that was the percentage. You know, I, I don't know, but I think if you look back, for the most part, knock on wood, we have typically, you know, gotten better um, as the year has gone. I think guys are getting comfortable. And we've had some guys that have come here that may not have been great free throw shooters, but... You know, I think free throw shooting is really all a mindset, and, and we've been able to maybe trick those guys and, and get them to believe in themselves and go up to the line with confidence, and then they start knocking them in. I think it becomes contagious. But, you know, it's always a lot better if you can get there. Um, obviously, we're, you know, we're shooting free throws in practice. We've got the guys coming in. We've got more time now um, with finals being over and with the schedules um, not being so maxed out on a daily basis for the kids. We can get them in here more and get more consistent um, with our foul shooting. And, and I think that is really important. And, and hopefully for this next basically two months when we're out of school, um, we can continue to do that. And then that will carry us down the stretch and, and knowing that you can really count on being able to get to the line, being able to score, um, being able to knock those in. I think uh, from an opponent's perspective, you know, it puts them in a precarious situation. You don't want to foul when we're driving. And if you do foul us, then you have a feeling that we're going to knock them in. Quick turnaround on Jackson State. Mm -hmm. Tennessee Tech on Friday for a 30 game Eastern time. Just preview the week ahead. Well, 
you know, one day in between, Jackson State has really played well. Um, I was watching them play against Marquette. And uh, Wayne, who's their coach, um, I know back from our days as assistants in the SEC, he's done a really good job. They run some really good stuff. They're very solid in what they do. You'll see a lot of motion. Um, we're going to have to play very well. They've got good size on the perimeter, a little bit smaller at the point guard spot, but they do have size in the wings. So um, this is another test for us. Earlier in the year, we had one day prep in between against IPFW, and quite frankly, I didn't think we came out and, and handled it very well. So I think this is a terrific test for our group. Can we handle the one day prep and then be able to come back basically two days, we're really three days later, and play on the road. Um, when you're trying to distinguish yourself as a good team, these are some of the things you have to go through. This is sort of like being in conference play. Um, there's no excuse for us to be tired. Um, the last time we had played three games in a row, then had an off day. So hopefully we can draw from that and understand, you know, how well we're going to have to play and how from a mental per, uh, mental perspective that we really need to be locked in and focused um, on what we're doing. But, you know, you take a look at Tennessee, uh, Tennessee Tech and Steve, and obviously I came from that league, and um, he's done a really good job with that program. And <clears throat> I haven't had an opportunity to really study them as much yet because it's still I've got a game here. But, you know, I think they're going to spread the court, play some four out, one in, um, you know, when you go there, that you have to play extremely well. Um, we've gone on the road now twice um, at um, Xavier, and then of course at IUPUI. Um, I thought the Xavier game. I thought we were there. I thought we were prepared and ready. Um, we just had some miscues down the stretch that really cost us. Um, the IUPUI game. I thought they took us um, to the woodshed. Um, so the question is for this group: is who who are we really on the road? Um, can we come back from our latest? Um, disappointing road loss and and understand that we've got to be focused and uh, and confident when we're on the road and what we're doing and and uh, how we come out and how we start games uh, particularly the start of the game and obviously the start of the second half Good luck this weekend. Thank thanks you. Ange. appreciate it